703, we continue to follow breaking news of the explosion in Brussels, Belgium. 28 killed now in three terrorist attack bombings. That's what the federal prosecutor in Belgium is saying. Two at the airport, one at the subway. This video came in shortly after the explosions at the departure level. You see people running from the scene there and uh, in a panic, not knowing what's going on. This is what they left. That is the terminal. That's where the main action happened. And uh, this was confirmed a suicide bomber. Also, 16 MU students are in the area. We heard from uh, one of them in the last five minutes, Meg Hilling. She uh, surprisingly was able to call us from Brussels. She is a journalism intern there going to Mizzou. She, along with 15 others, are there. And she said that they were okay. But uh, she was three blocks away from Mullenbeck. That is the subway station that was hit. So two at the airport, one at the subway station. She was three blocks away. Police are now telling them uh, that to push back. They're pushing, they're being pushed back, I should say. But again, she and everyone, uh, her co-eds and her professor are all safe. Patrick and Lindsay. All right, thank you, Jane, for the update. And 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake is live at KCI this morning. Let's go to Sarah. Have you noticed them taking any different security measures this morning at all, Sarah? No, not really, Lindsay. You know, we've been here for, you know, an hour or so and just kind of looking around. It looks like a normal morning. Traffic is picking up now and folks are just do going about their business, checking in, getting their luggage uh, checked in and, and hopping on a plane. Some folks that we talked to, you know, of course, this happened so early for us here in the U.S. overnight. Uh, folks that were arriving here at KCI didn't really know what happened. And so we had to tell them what happened. And their reaction is just, you know, of course, one of shock and um, kind of disbelief. And other folks, that was the first thing that they read this morning at, right before they hopped on a plane. And, it, you know, it is disturbing for people. That's what they said. And um, But at the same time, a lot of folks we talked to said, you know, they can't live in fear. You know, they feel that the security here at KCI in the U.S. Is, is safe and they trust it. There was a lady that works upstairs at a Starbucks and she said, you know, she read it this morning before coming into work and she's like, great, you know, I, I work at an airport, but said, I, I can't not go to work just because this is happening, but um, it is unfortunate. Uh, that's kind of the reaction we're getting from other people around here, but everything going smoothly here at KCI. Back to you.